Hi, I'm Mark from Geco Cheetah, and I'm here today with Practical Machinist once more to look at how we can remove a large amount of material with only nine lines of G-code. And we do that by writing a macro program using a while loop. So here's our program. Let's go over it line by line and see how this works. So we start off by setting our variables. Now I've not added an operator's note describing what these variables do because it's easier to explain as we go through the program. But variable 111 at the moment we're setting to zero and variable 222 we're setting to minus 200. These are our initial values. And to make things easier to follow, I'll pop them up in the left hand corner so we can see what they equal as the program progresses. So before we start off our loop, I'm going to move our cutter 200 millimeters to the right along the X axis. Now I'm assuming there's already a feed rate live on this, so I've not added it to this line of code. So this is where the macro programs really take effect. This is our while loop. So we're starting off saying if our variable 111 is greater than minus 200, then carry on reading this loop. And the do one at the end there will read down until it sees end one. Now we're using greater than with GT in this program. Now we could also use greater than or equal to, and this is shortened to GE. And that would stop this loop when it reads minus 200. But where we're using greater than, it will stop one loop after. So we're moving in the Y axis and we're moving the amount stated in variable 111. Now at the moment, this variable is equal to zero because we set that a few lines above. So we're not going to move in the y axis at this point. So we're going to skip down and read the next line, which is move x to the value kept in 222 variable, the value stored in that variable. So we can omit geo1 here, but it doesn't make any difference to our program if it's still there. OK, so by moving to x variable 222, we're moving to minus 200. So our cutter is going back along the same path. 200 millimeters to the left of our datum where we started in the center of the part. Now this bit of maths here caught me out at first. So what we're doing, we're taking our variable 222, which is currently minus 200, and we're giving it a new value. So our new value is minus minus 200. So what this is doing is converting it into a plus. Minus from a minus converts a number into a plus. So we're now converting our variable 222 to plus 200, where before it was minus 200. And then we're redefining the variable 111. This is the variable that controls the y axis. So a variable 111 would take in 10 from that. So it now equals minus 10, where before it was zero. And that's reached the end of the loop that will rough out our part for us. So we're down to end one. So once it reads this line, it jump up to the block where our do one statement was. Because do one and end one are a matching pair. So the computer is now looking at our while statement once more. It's seeing if our variable 111 is greater than minus 200 yet. Well, it's at minus 10, so it is greater than 200, so it's going to carry on reading this block. But as soon as it's not greater than 200, it's going to stop and carry on reading the rest of the program from below the end one block. So this time when it moves our y-axis, it's going to look at our variable and now it's minus 10. So it's going to move our y-axis down minus 10. So now that our variable 222 has been converted into plus 200, it's now going to take a 400 millimeter cut to the right across the x-axis. So with our cutter arriving in position, we can now convert that back to minus 200. And we can minus another 10 millimeters from our y-axis. So we take variable 111 and we're going to minus 10 millimeters from that and then redefine that variable. So we're going to put that answer back into variable 111. So now our variable 111 reads minus 20. Because at the start of this loop, our variable 111 was greater than minus 200, we know we're going to run through that again. So the machine is going to go back up and read the while statement block. So it's going to check our variable 111 is still greater than minus 200, when now it's 20. So it's going to carry on reading through this loop. 
So this is gonna keep repeating and keep following the same pattern of cut until eventually we have reached the end of our sequence. And that would be when variable 111 would be greater than minus 200. So that's a very quick run through of how we can use while statements to shorten our G codes down to only nine lines to remove a lot of material. Now, if we were writing this line by line, you can imagine the amount of code we would have to write. And it's also quicker than popping it into a CAD CAM package. If we're just doing a one-off and we need to skim the top of a billet, we can quite quickly write this into our milling machine to be able to scan over the top of our part. This video was a very short version of a much larger lesson I have on my website on my advanced CNC macro programming course. So if you're looking to expand your G-code knowledge and learn how to program macros at your machine, so head over to my website, gcodetutor.com, and check out the advanced macro programming course.